why you guys are having me. It's like a Q-list celebrity. What up, everybody? It's Joe from Complex. We're in New York City at Stadium Goods with actor and comedian Pete Davidson. Actor is a stretch. No. <laughs> I'm sure they fucking think we're stupid. And they're like, oh, look, we're going to make them fucking wear dad shoes. Going to do some sneaker shopping tonight. Going to see what he's feeling, what he's not, and then hopefully he's going to buy some sneakers. Yes. Let's go. Hey, yeah. hey, it's your fault. You booked me. Like, yeah. Pete, before we get into questions, right. sneaker shopping first, G-Unit sneakers. Yes. What made you wear those? And did you have those on ice or you got them recently? I got them about like three years ago. They were pretty hard to get and find because they're like 15 years old. Right. Right. Probably. 2003, yeah. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Uh, no, I just, uh, it's a sneaker show and I, this, these are the only cool ones I have. It's amazing. So, I, I haven't seen those in years. Yeah, I'm very proud of them. Pete, big into Jordans. Any recent purchases? No, I've been chilling. I got new teeth, so okay. I have to chill on getting some sneakers. All right. Just want to let everybody know these are temporaries. I'm aware that they might look a little, little fake, but that's because the realer ones are coming tomorrow. So Jordan 3 new teeth, you pick teeth always? Yeah, yeah. I picked, I, I needed the, the new teeth. Okay. Yeah, I've always wanted, I had big ass gums. When my, te my teeth were mad thin and Irish. You know, so I got, I got new ones, but I just wanted to let you guys know, I know. Now, specific shoe that the sneaker blogs picked up years back, these Just On 2s? Yes. You wore those on the Justin Bieber roast. Yes, these are fucking sick. I love these shoes. When you have like a big event, do you try to put more rare footwear on? Yeah, whenever you do something cool, you try to do something that, you know, like I did the Marty McFly's for yep. the next roast. Mm -hmm. It's just like something memorable and like cool. One thing you said, Breakfast Club, that sneakers are like autographed baseballs. It makes you like feel good. The, the sneakers are just, uh, they're always, you know, I'm ugly as fuck, but whenever you put on like a pair of sneakers that are like new and crisp, it always like makes you feel good no matter what. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, hold on, I lost my train of thought. Um, so right. Trump, how do you feel? Exactly. What sneaker would Trump be if he was on the wall? Whatever shoe a dickhead would wear. Oh, you know like the daddy Jordans? You know the Jordans that aren't a number Jordans? The team Jordans. But they're like, yeah, and like dads get them and they're like, yeah, I just got these, they're fucking sick. But like, they're not. My friend gets the, he calls me all the time. He sends me like a picture. And he's like, bro, these Jordans are dope. And I'm like, no, I don't understand. That's what like not dope people do. <laughs> they get those. Pete talked about the complex profile. Yes. You wore the Red Octobers. Yes, I did. You still have these? I sold them, of did course. You? Yeah. Because I like I only after you wear them for something like that, you, I, you can only kind of wear them once. Did you get a good return on them? Yeah, I, I got a pretty good return. You know, I told uh, they didn't know they were worn. <laughs> after the fact no, that they yeah. say like we didn't no, know these were... no those are, those are brand new too online <laughs> did you use your own pictures or like you took the stock no, google I image had my friend take some slutty ass photos and those they look fucking hot <laughs> let's talk about the mags rob Lowe roast yes warm with a suit bold move for you yeah i got shit on by gq for uh where, like, you know, it's just like, who the fuck, who the fuck are you? I, I make all my decisions based off of what would eight-year-old Pete do. Okay. Then maybe a lot of what I do will make sense to you. That makes total sense. Yeah, oh well, yeah, I want the back to the PR, yeah! <laughs> Fucking dummy, of course. We've seen like end of 2017 into 2018, kind of this clunky shoe, they call it like the dad shoe phenomenon. Right. What do you think about this stuff? It's fucking ridiculous that like people could bring shit back. Like there's no bigger like fuck you. I, I feel like companies think I'm the, we're dumb. Who makes the, like you said Balenciaga? Like you that's, know Balenciaga that's, made that triple S yeah, shoe. That's not made in Florida, right? No, yeah. So I'm sure they fucking think we're stupid. And they're like, oh look, we're gonna make them fucking wear dad shoes, you know? And now they buy them, yeah, now they're laughing at us. This is ridiculous. This is insane. I I understand trends. Yeah. Paint my nails. You know, I got earrings, you know, t I get it. But like, the fuck? I don't know, it's just, it's 
I'm gonna buy them. I'm yeah. wearing them. You, you know? gotta I'm, be a part yeah. of it. No, yeah, I'm you know I'm a hypocrite for sure. I, you know, but still, like fuck. To that point, you're dating Larry David's daughter, Kazzy. Yes. Very he lucky is like, guy. but he's like an OG when it comes to simple sneakers, no. the brand. No, he's a legend. We've had JB Smoove on the show. I asked him, will we ever see Larry in Jordans or Air Force Ones? Um, I bought him a pair of Jordans once because uh, he's just always very, very nice to me. And I just, I, it was a pair of ones. Okay. And he wore them a couple times. Really? Yeah, he wore them a couple times. But they were very plain and like chill. Do pictures of that exist? No, absolutely not. We spoke on off camera about Michael Che. You were highly requested on the show, and he's bubbling right. when it comes to Jordans. You know, he's yeah. on Weekend Update. He I think makes he's sense. Going. He's, you know, actually on the show. Yo, Che gets all, like, free sneakers. Really? Like, yeah. People will send him, like, $900 pair of shoes, and they'll be like, thanks, Che. I'm like, for what? Like, what? <laughs> you know, I, I don't get anything. I get, like, fucking gum from my <laughs> agent. And they're like, have a good season. Chase said in an interview that sometimes he mentions brands just so like they sponsor and yeah, send him pasta. free stuff. Yeah, it's ridiculous. I get nothing. It's not. I, That's I, crazy. Nike and Jordan need to start sending you stuff. Yeah, I, you know, I wear everybody's. You know, I, I, you know, I'm not asking for anything, but like, you know, once in a while it would be very nice. But here's you know? the thing, after this show, yeah. you're good now. They're gonna start sending. Oh, really? Yeah, that's oh, well, it's, well, thank you guys. I'm glad you like me now, you whores. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't like me when I was down. Well, we talked about everything now. The easy part, yeah. get the browser shells, take home some sneakers. All right. All right, let's, uh, let's do that. I should seem more excited. Let's do it, man! Woo! To the sneaks! I gotta get these for my lady. I need these. Do you think there's an eight in this? These in a 12 or a 13? I think I'm gonna get these. So your total is 48, 44, 94. 48, 44, 94, okay. I just gotta tell my agent to book a couple colleges. Thanks everybody, this was a dream come true. Thanks so much. Really appreciate it. My old uh, high school principal, Father Riley, something's going on with him. I'm just drop, dropping. I knew, and nobody listened. He got a boat, he invites kids out there. Fucking weird. So, Pete came through, got a bunch of sneakers. Thanks so much for taking the time, man. Oh, thanks for having me. I'm shocked and honored to have done your show. This is one of the coolest shows uh, to do. So. Appreciate that, Thank man. you. Make sure you check out Pete every Saturday night. Well, sometimes. <laughs> sometimes I'm on there, sometimes not. You know, you know. Thank you very much. Thank you, Complex. What's up, everybody? It's Joe from Complex. Be sure to check out our brand new series, Talking Shop, to see exclusive bonus content from the shoot. If you're a fan of sneaker shopping, you'll be a fan of Talking Shop. Click here and subscribe now.